inside a dish made of gold. Maybe Muhammad at that time, he never heard of a plastic. I thought Muhammad is humble. And Allah don't care for gold. Obviously, they care a lot. Allah dishes in the kitchen, all of them, they are gold. Any Muhammadan? Mayday, Mayday. Who is a Muhammadan? He think he can call me and he have wisdom already, which means he do not need a plastic surgery to fix his wisdom. And I feel sorry for Muhammad, honestly. I mean, this guy, he repair his roof every two days. The angels, they don't go to his house from the door. They open the roof. I mean, what's wrong with those? Uh, okay, I thought the angels, they can go through the walls. What do you mean the roof open? True story. Any Muhammadan? Hello? Hmm. And then after they put him uh, uh, they like stuff him like hold on there's a hadith actually is even better than this one hold on okay I'm trying to find it. Hold on. Even even they installed the with the wisdom inside his uh, veins. Where is the hadith? Let me go off the screen because I don't want to make you blind flipping. Uh, hold on. Look at this. How the Prophet of Allah he have such a knowledge. Read with me, read, brother. I think, you know, I don't know, such a story, you need to have some kind of meditation to think about it. You cannot just uh, read it. It's so much spiritual and touchy I know many of you like the word touchy don't you okay yeah touchy okay so uh, here you will see that Jibreel cut out open this part of the body between his throat remember you know uh, he in the other hadith is a different story but anyway uh, in the middle of the chest to the heart and took all the material out of his chest man nothing left inside like Mickey Mouse you watch did you, I remember Tom and Jerry like ding, 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 you know he opened the you know the uh, the chest and he started taking things off and he throw it like you know they, they are making surgery for the dog and they took the bones inside chicken bones I mean they throw all the material inside out 
we have to think carefully here about this statement. Why the prophet he says material? Hmm. That's deep. The material. They took the material out of the chest of the prophet. And they washed the material with the water of Zamzam. And brothers and sisters, He did not wash it normally. If you have a problem to wash your laundry or underwear and you are so stinky and you do not know how to wash it, get the detergent Zumzum right now. You can call our number 1-900-ZUM-ZUM and the customer service will answer you is under Tate. Call right now and reserve your pimp reservation immediately. End of commercial break. He did not wash it normally. Just by water? It was Zamzam. With his own hands. He did not use laundry. The angel of Allah using his hands. If your hands are so, so dirty and they are so stinky and each time you put it over your nose, you smell so bad, please call us immediately. We have a solution for you. 1-900-ANDROTATE. Give me your hand. End of commercial break. With his hands not only hands his own hands his own hands every one of you he need to use his own hands however we have a solution what if you are married and your wife she keep beating you over your hands to the point you cannot touch anything anymore buy our electronic hands this way your wife she cannot hit them because they are costly, they will shock her, and they have a battery. Call us right now and get a hand which is not yours. End of commercial break. What the heck? Tell the day cleansed, cleansed the inside of his body. I told you he was wicked. They need to clean it. So dirty. I'm telling you, so disgusting. Special treatment. Detergent. Clorex. Not to forget spitting. Sneezing. The angel, he used all the tricks to clean the wicked prophet. Any Muhammadan, he decided to call us and tell us what this heck is about. If Muhammad is not so wicked, they are clean what exactly? Anyone? Hmm? Even Allah himself, he refused. And the funny, the Muhammadan, they say, and the Quran say, that if Allah, he wanted something to happen, he said to it, be, is going to be. So Allah, he could not even fix the wickedness of Muhammad clean inside him by saying be. So what he do? He sent two angels and they have to use their own hands. You know what? I'm so proud of the angels. They are using their own hands, not somebody else's hands. 
I mean, did you notice the word his own hands? Why is he supposed to use somebody else's hands? Oh, I forgot the prophet. He said something about somebody else's hands. The prophet, he said, after you finish eating, don't wipe your fingers. Don't wash your hands. Let somebody else lick it for you. What the heck? He don't lick it. Somebody else lick it for you? When one of you eat, must not wipe his hand then until he lick it or give it to someone to lick it. I got to lick it, lick it. I got to lick it, lick it. Lick it. What the heck is that? The wicked Muhammad. And what is the wisdom behind this? There is a blessing somewhere. There's a blessing. And look, 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 guys. Look at the explanation. You go to the Abdul house. Abdul is eating. And now he finished. He gave his finger to his wife. And she starts sucking his fingers. Look, such as a wife, a husband. Aren't you sure not a slave? Man. That's amazing. So beautiful. Haram. Haram. Why Muslims don't do that in the restaurants? Why does Abdul in YouTube like Mimi Hijab and, you know, make a video like in your McDonald's and, and give your fingers to your wife in the front of... Uh, this is something Lili Dawa he can do. This guy, he always asks his wife to do things in public. Honey? Come over here. And yes, because I finished eating, I want you to lick my fingers. No, no, my fingers only. Remember, we are live on YouTube. What are you talking about? Thanks to Allah, they did not hear you. What the heck? And what is the excuse from the wicked Muhammad? There is a blessing lies in there. You don't know where the blessing is, brother. The heck? Any comment? Good and breath. What the all? If we all break the, 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 the oh, exactly right. what the heck is that? What the what, what what you say? They don't, don't speak so fast. I can't understand you. Good and breath. Allah Prophet. He did not hygiene. What? Hygiene? You mean hygiene? Exactly. And good and breath. Don't correct me in English. I mean your English is so funny. Well, I have to agree with you. My English is funny. But, I mean, the way you talk, man, is very hard to understand. Uh, anyway, so uh, the Prophet was teaching us hygiene. Exactly. How in the world this is hygiene? So you go to a restaurant and you give your hands to people in front of you and they start sucking it and licking it. What the heck is that? How that is a... Is that going to be good for, like, disease and etc.? Don't you think it's going... Oh, I forgot you're a doctor, as I can... Uh, good and breath. Yes, first of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Zakir Naik, and I get my degree from the most important university in the world. Hey, Zakir Naik, where is that? The University of Taliban. What? The University of Taliban. Hey, the University of Taliban. Okay, right. no problem. They have university now. So, okay, so what is the purpose of sucking your tongue and, sorry, your your uh, your uh, fingers and uh, give it to your wife or your slaves? to lick it you know what the heck is that what for get your breath first of all if you read the hadith the prophet he said there's a blessing because what a blessing man the food is a food that said you ate you are done and now it's your fingers i mean is your fingers a dish i mean how much food you have in your fingers usually is second name get your breath my finger is full of food because my nails is very wrong therefore a lot of food is under my nails zakir naik may allah nail you I mean, that is the most stupid answer ever. Uh, <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? The wicked prophet. The wicked prophet. Prove me that he is not wicked. Muhammad, he never 
wipe or wash his hand. After eating, he lick it. If you don't believe it's in front of you, you got to lick it, lick it. You got to lick it, lick it, lick it. Wicked, wicked, mentally ill, sexually wicked, mentally wicked, ethically wicked, stupidly, you know. Uh, uh, how Muhammad, he, you know, he clean himself after sexual intercourse. Is that true that he dry his hands on the wall? Let us see. What is the hadith about? This is always about... Uh, <coughs> wicked any Muslim would like to prove us wrong where is the hadith the prophet he pee in the street people walk by the women walk by children walk by and Muhammad, he is holding his penis and he piss in the middle of the street. I'm just trying to find the hadith. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to teach you today a great example of how to learn how not to be wicked and not to be a dirty man. The Messenger of Allah came from a privy. I don't know what the heck is that privy. What privy? Is that a translation now? A man met him near Bi'ru Jamal and saluted him. But look. Look at the false translation. They did not tell you, they did not translate that he is urinating. Read with me. They did not say he is urinating. In Arabic it says, Mina it. So Muhammad, he just finished his shit. And now he is going to clean his hands. So after he finished, he came to the wall and placed his hands on the wall and wiped his face and hands. Mm. Beautiful. He is not wicked. Mm. Any Abdul? I mean, there is tons of hadith. I want to show you. It's endless. Until now, we have a zero Muhammadan there to call us. Let us see how clean was the bedroom of Prophet Muhammad, wicked upon him. Oh, I got an idea. Let us, from now, uh, say wickedness upon him. What do you think, guys? Prophet Muhammad, wickedness upon him. I think this is uh, this is good. Okay. Copyright registered to Christian Prince, please. Okay. Maimuna, the wife of the Prophet, reported him, saying, Zibreel, peace be upon, wicked upon him, promised to visit me last night. Look, the angel, he promised him to come last night. Brother? He did not promise, keep his promise. I cannot believe it that an angel of Allah, he made a promise to visit Muhammad, wicked upon him, 
and he did not show up even the angel is wicked he make false promises but why we need to understand why he could not can make it but he did not visit me and then it occurred to him that there was a pup under the bed what the heck the angel he could not keep his promise to the prophet of Allah to visit him because there is a puppy under the bed the angel of Allah was defeated by a puppy how 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 cute must he must be a chihuahua because chihuahua they think they are lions and they are very vicious so he ordered it, ordered it, and it was turned out. He then got water in his hand and sprinkled the place. When Jibril met him, he said, We do not enter the house which contain a dog or a picture. And all the Mohammedan, they are in TikTok, Facebook, taking selfies and pictures and they claim the angels are praying with them and then the wicked Muhammad he ordered to kill all the dogs blaming the dogs for Jibreel is not coming I mean do you see the solution here we go. Okay, kill all the dogs. Wicked. You tell me, if Muhammad is not wicked, why anyone want to kill the dogs? Here it says, kill the dog. But the dog, he did not do anything. In fact, Muhammad, he ordered to kill all the dogs. And later when people, they complain, they need them. I mean, I don't know, people need dogs, especially if you live in the countryside. If you are a farmer or you have a, a chicken, you have it's a, you need a dog. Allah Messenger ordered to kill dogs, all dogs. And we were even killing a dog which a woman brought with her from the desert. Afterward, Allah Messenger forbid us to kill dogs, saying, confine yourself to the type which pure black. Listen carefully. Now he is focusing with his racism, the wicked Muhammad. A black dog he should be killed anyone knows why a black dog should be killed why a black dog should be killed if muhammad is not wicked i want to know why he is ordered to kill all dogs he claim that the black dog is the devil remember muhammad he claimed that satan is a black Satan, he will come even as a black Ethiopian man to destroy the Kaaba. Black bird is the devil. Black dog is the devil. Muhammad, he says, Kill every pure black. Because he is wicked. One of the Muhammadan asked the wicked Muhammad, wicked upon him, why we should kill what distinguished the black dog? Why? I mean, why, why he insists with the black dog? What his obsession? So they ask Muhammad that question. They ask him, what is the difference between yellow dog, red dog, and black dog? I said, oh, Abu Dhar, what feature is there in, the, in a black dog? 
which distinguish it from red dog and yellow dog. He said, O son of my brother, I ask the wicked messenger of Allah, as you ask him, are you asking me? He said, the black dog is a devil. So if you are not convinced that Muhammad is a wicked man, please call me immediately. Prophet Muhammad wickedness upon him is an evil man. I mean, dog is just a poor animal. You see, there is dogs, they can be vicious or they have a disease. Okay, we have to get rid of them. But why you want to kill the dogs? And now he is focusing. He is paranoid. He have a phobia from a black color. He's racist. Any Mohammedan? Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan? He can prove us wrong that Muhammad wickedness upon him is not a wicked man to the bone. The most person Allah he hate is a black man. Is that correct? Hey Muslim, am I lying? Is it true that the most person Allah he hate is a black man? Or I'm lying. Any Muhammadan. You will notice that those Muhammadans, here they are potatoes. In different places, they are lions. Anyone? Your opinion in Muhammad Ali. I mean, why I need to have an opinion in such a person? He's a boxer. Uh, why people care for such a person? You love famous people, right? They fooled him. He's a victim. Many of you, long, uh, most 99% of American, Western, around the world, not only in the West, didn't know what Islam is about. He's a victim. But who, why, why you care too much for such a name, Muhammad Ali? Why people they worship a celebrity of stupidity? He keep beating people, and people beat him until he, in the end, his head shaking like a chicken, non-stop. So what is the accomplishment he made? Stupid. This is, you know, those kind of a sport. They aren't even a sport. Those are stupid sport and those who watch them I believe they are stupid too can we ask questions you to me or to Allah because I have double personality sometime I think I am Allah and sometime I think I'm the wicked Muhammad prove me wrong Any Muhammadan? Why Muhammad love cat? Muhammad don't love cat. Muhammad he love nothing. But uh, uh, Muhammad he have a phobia from dogs because dogs they can sense evil. They can sense bad energy. 
You know, dogs are not the same as other animals. Cats, they have no loyalty. You can have a cat for a ten, you know, ten years. Somebody else give her food, she will go to him. You know, this why, you know, this loyalty is what Muhammad like. He's wicked. Cat is wicked. They have no loyalty. I'm not saying now wicked to say that I'm saying cats are evil, but I'm saying by nature they don't have loyalty. A dog he have a loyalty, and they can sense. That's why you don't see in the airport they are using cats to find the drugs. They use dogs. They can sense things nobody can sense. Not only by smell, they can sense energy. You see, all kind of those, this, the, we can call them beasts. Originally they are beasts. They are not bets at home. Uh, when, when a beast, he feel your fear, he attack you. Because he can smell your fear. Your fear will become a smell. So obviously Muhammad, he noticed that those dogs, they don't like him for they smell. His bad energy, his wickedness. Even his angel, according to Muhammad, he cannot enter a house, have a dog. So here you notice that even the angel of such a God, Allah, he have a phobia from dogs. Somebody asked me about uh, Exodus 20, 21. If there is such a thing in the Quran, no. In the Quran it says, actually, in the case of murder, free for a free, slave for a slave, women for the women. Which, another wickedness of Muhammad. I mean, look at this guy. He claimed that he is coming with a religion of the justice of God. So what is the penalty in the case of murder? If a black man was killed by a white man, the white man will not be killed for killing a black man. No, he's a slave. He killed him. We kill a black man in front. So if I kill your slave, black man, you kill my slave, black man. If you don't believe me, the verse in the front of you, and he can read the interpretation of it. And then when people, they start complaining about the stupidity of this unjust, Muslim, they claim that Muhammad, he abrogated his wickedness. Read it. Chapter 2, verse 178. Free for the free, which means white for the white, black for the black. Actually, the word, the word uh, in Arabic, it says, وَالْعَبْدُ abd. The word here used, is a abd. Abd means slave, yes, but it means Negro in Arabic. The black for the black. So if a free man kill a white free man, kill a white free man, the white free man will be killed. But if a black man killed by a free man, a black man will be killed in return. If you don't believe me, we can open the interpretation. Maybe a Christian prince is lying, shall we? Shall we? The wickedness of Muhammad is beyond imagination. So now we have two victims. We killed the first black man, and now we are going to kill another black man, and Muhammad, he called that justice. And he claimed, uh, 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 78, sorry. And he claimed that this is from his God. I mean, can you see the beauty of this religion? Read carefully. Christian Prince is not saying what he is saying from his own. It says here, a free man 
is killed for a free man and not for a slave. Do you see it? And a slave for a slave. And a female for a female. So you kill my wife, I kill your wife. What kind of justice does justice is? What about you kill the killer? No. The killer only will be killed if a white man killed a white man. Any Mohammedan? Any Abdul? Zero Abdul. In the last almost week, we have zero Muhammadan calling us. They give up. They knew they are no match. A free man will not be killed for killing a black slave man. Muhammad wickedness upon him. Any Muhammadan? And then, not to forget to mention that Muhammad he claimed that when Allah he created Adam, he hit Adam in his shoulder, and he said, uh, and and uh, from the right shoulder, white if of you know white uh, offspring, uh, they came from his right shoulder. Those are the white ones. And he hit the left shoulder of Adam, and then the black people came out of him his shoulder. And he said to the one who came from the right shoulder, which means the white, you go to heaven and I don't care. And the one who they are born from the left shoulder, which means the black, he said to them, and you go to hell and I don't care. And this is a very authentic hadith. Any Muhammadan? Can you be more wicked than this? Any Muhammadan? Who is more wicked than Muhammad? The claiming that just because your color is a black, you go to hell. And you will see he want to kill black dogs. Anything is black is his enemy. And then the Muhammadan, they go to the foolish ones around the world. Asian, black, whatever. And they said to them, Islam, don't discriminate. And then they quote for you a hadith. It's called uh, the last sermon of the Prophet. He said, there's no difference between black and yellow and etc. Except by how much you fear Allah. But this is nobody. Nobody can prove this hadith to be true. And this is even against the Quran. And this is not even mentioned in the authentic hadith. This is authentic. Look, in the English in the front of us, it says what? Isnadun Hassan. In the right, it says Sahih. And have good Isnad, which means reference of proofs. All the men's are mentioned. They are good. It says the grade Sahih. It's in the front of you. Sahih. Wicked man. Disgusting man. And then they want to fool the black people, saying to them, 
that Islam is a religion for everybody. Do we have any Muhammadan? A Muslim saying to me, I increased his Iman, smash Allah. We look like this guy, he don't like black people. Because now, after I showed him this hadith about black people, they will go to hell. He claimed that me saying such a statement increased his faith. Smash Allah. Read it. Do you want me to put more air in your balloon? I increased his Iman. Why? Because he agree. He is a racist like his prophet. He want people who they are black to go to hell. And maybe now I will increase your Iman a 3,000 times more if we speak about the Prophet ordering your wife to suckle me. Even Muslims, they go around and ask each other to suckle the boobs of each others. This is Mimi Hijab asking a sheikh, very well-known sheikh, to suckle his wife because the sheikh he quote the Prophet Hadith of suckling, which is a part of the Quran. Did I increase your faith now, brother? I hope I'm moving in the correct direction. Isn't it clear that Muhammad is wicked? If he is not wicked, how he order and command women to give their boobs to strangers so they can suckle it? Any Muhammadan? MashaAllah, I'm thirsty. If there is any volunteer? I prefer fresh human female milk. According to the Prophet advice and his God Allah. Hmm? Is that true? So isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a wicked man? And look, the wicked man Muhammad, his plan almost destroyed, actually destroyed, most of the Quran was eaten by a goat. And remember the Muhammadan, they say, the Quran, brothers and sisters, is preserved. There is not a single book in the world. Okay? And then we find that the Quran was eaten, most of it, by a goat. By the way, Muslim believe in destiny. Therefore, this goat was sent by Allah to eat the Quran. You know, when I saw this first time, I said to myself, as long as everything is destiny, this is what the Muslim is saying. So when the goat ate the Quran, It was destiny by Allah. When David would aid the Quran, it was destiny by Allah. And then you need to ask yourself why Allah is making David would and the goat eating the Quran. What Allah is trying to prove to us. And now who can recite for us the verses which David would he ate? Are they still in the Quran? No. Aisha, she said, that the breastfeeding of 10 times for adult was in the Quran. And the goat ate it.
Dani Muhammad'dan By the way, I don't want to tell you what happened to David Wood after he ate the Quran. I heard that Allah, he punished him and he make him lose all his 20,000 uh, teeth. This is why when he talked now, he talked like this. But then, I, I, I talked to him last time, like what the heck sound like Zakir Nay? What happened to him? You know, it looked like when he ate the Quran, Allah cursed him and he lost all his teeth. And this is why he's wearing glasses now, by the way. But he was wearing glasses before he ate the Quran. Yeah, but now he is wearing glasses more because now he cannot see anymore. Allah, he cursed him. I know actually a person, he ate the Quran with hummus, you know? Second day in the morning, Allah, he made him jilibi. He woke up in the morning, his wife, she went to the kitchen, he found him jilibi, she ate him. She thought, like, she don't, how did know, how she know that this is her husband? You know, Allah punished him. Don't you know the Muslim, they make videos about the guy who burned the Quran, he died? They fabricate stories? Nobody can fabricate stories as a Muhammad. I mean, I make fun of Muhammad every day, all my life, and Allah did not make me die. And how many times, how many times I change Allah to make, to cause me to die? And one day I will die. They will say, Allah Akbar, Allah killed him. My friend, I will die anyway. But uh, uh, why he's waiting? I mean, what he's waiting for? Until we eat the whole Quran? That's not fair. So, look, the goat, and I believe that this goat, I don't, this goat is fishy, man. I mean, the goat, she ate the breast feeding for a dog. Who in the world want to believe such a garbage? It is you, Muhammadan, who ate it. I mean, how the goat, she ate the verses. Do you have a verse in every one page? There is no way. I mean, at that time, you know, writing material is very expensive. So she ate the verse, only a verse. What about chapters? I mean, a goat, give, give a tree to a goat. She will finish it in half hour. I'm serious. If you have a backyard, you want to destroy the, the, the back, backyard of somebody, bring two goats. They will eat everything, especially if the trees are short and they can, even they will climb the trees, even if they're high, if they can climb it. Who in the world want to believe that the Quran of 10 time breastfeeding, yummy, yummy. Ardi'ini, ardi'ini, yeah. Are you sure, ardi'ini? Arda'u al-kabir, wa ma adraka irda'u al-kabir. Hikmatun wa mawa'idatun lis-sarasir. Wa in kunta ahirun aw shintir, فَاتَّبِعْ رَسُولَ السَّرَاصِيرِ We just made Quran. Any Muhammadan? Who in the world when I accept his wife giving her boobs to anyone? Hmm? There's an Egyptian uh, woman, she have interview with the sheikh. So she asked him about this. So she said, are you saying that all those people who work with me in the studio, I have to do breast feeding for them? He said, yes. He said, all those engineers, lighting, audio directors, he said, hey, everybody, including me. <laughs> you have to do breastfeeding for adult brother. And this is, was Quran from the wicked God. Peace upon him, wickedness upon him. Do you need more proof that Muhammad is a wicked man?
I mean, name for me one thing is not wicked about this wicked man. Any Muhammadan? How come Aisha did not get a bread net at nine years old? But Aisha never get uh, Muhammad. He cannot have sex. I believe strongly Muhammad. He never. I will have Muhammad. You know, uh, uh, I obviously have. He have a problem. <laughs> See, all the women he had sex with, he could not have any of them have babies. Uh, the Muslim they say to you, there is a Mary the cooked. She is a slave given to him as a gift. Look how nice he is. You know, he is against slavery, but he received male as a human. So this woman, according to the stories, she was blonde, very white, and Muhammad he liked to sleep with her. And the Muhammadan they claim that she gave birth to a child, but all the hadith from Aisha refer to it clearly, saying that this person this kid, he don't even look like you. He can't be your son. And even the Quran witnessed that Muhammad, he cannot have a children. No, he was not shooting blank. He was not shooting at all. You see, when Muhammad, he said, I was the most weak person in sex between all mankind. Why Muhammad want to say such a statement? Anyone can tell me? His wives, they exposed him. You know, actually, as long as you just, you just remind me. When the wife of Muhammad, she said that the Prophet, he imagined himself having intercourse, but in fact he did not. She exposed him. And this is why then he have to say, well, you know what? I was the most weak person between mankind in sex. And then I invoke my God Allah. And he sent me a dish of al kufait which means kufta. And I ate it and I get the power of 40 men. Is that correct? And the funny is that Muhammad, he said himself, that the most evil person for Allah is a husband or a wife who will speak about their private life to public. And then we find that Muhammad, he speak about his private sex details and Aisha, she do the same. As you see here, this is private. This is very private. She's, she, she can say, well, the prophet, he have a problem. He imagined himself doing things. No, she said he imagined himself having sex. In fact, he did not. But Muhammad himself, he said, the wicked man, that the most evil person in the sight of Allah is a wife or a husband who release a secret between the wife and the husband. And both of them, they did that. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to defend the wickedness of Muhammad? So let us make a vote today. I want to see people making comment and tell me what they think about the new name I decide to give to Muhammad. Each time we say Muhammad, we say wicked upon him. So wicked upon him, what we will do, W, U, I don't know what we should say. Or we say wickedness upon him, like in full. What do you think, guys? Who like this idea?
each time we say the name of Muhammad if you are later watching the video leave your comment and tell me what do you think don't you think that Muhammad really deserve this title WUP wickedness upon him but until people they used to it maybe we have to say the words in full Muhammad wickedness upon him because you cannot go wicked more than this the guy he go to his own son the wife is alone he flirt with her he take the wife from the husband the guy he go to his friend he have a daughter she is five years old he want to f her and he take her and he rape her he, uh, this guy is wicked in every way so wicked upon him I think this is the perfect name and he deserve it and he earned it actually he worked for it don't forget to subscribe and if you do subscribe already don't forget to unsubscribe because that make me happy we middle eastern we have a weird habit you know like you tickle us when you subscribe and we tickle us again twice when you unsubscribe <laughs> like, oh, oh stop, stop 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 subscribing and subscribing yeah the prophet he did that the wicked man muhammad a man he was topless and Muhammad, he came from his back. And the wicked Muhammad, he started doing things. What things? Things I cannot share with you. Because most of you are so young. This is the Prophet Muhammad, wickedness upon him. He is not a homosexual. No. He is just playing with men. Look at this. Abu Abdul Rahman in Abu Abu Layla quoting Sayyid blah 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 that said that when he was giving to jesting and was talking to the people, making them laugh, the Prophet poked him. And that the ribs with the stick. And chicka, 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 chicka. He said, Ha ha, let me retal take retaliation. He said, Okay, okay, take retaliation. He said, You are wearing a shirt and I am not. What the heck? The prophet was tickling the guy. He is wearing no t-shirt. And then the prophet, he raised his shirt. And the man embraced him. And he began to kiss his side. And then he said, This is what I wanted, O Messenger of Allah. Imagine, brothers and sisters, the prophet lifting up naked his t-shirt and now you are holding him you put your head down around his belly and in fact it says Kashhahu, not just his side down his belly and you are kissing the prophet belly and down and not only that, each time you kiss it, you say, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted all my life. It's my dream come to be true. Isn't it beautiful? Imagine. Imagine you are a prophet, but you are funny and dummy you walk in the street you see a man is stopless you poke him with your stick 
which we do not know which stick they are talking about. And then the man look at you. He said, Prophet, Prophet, if you are a person who like to poke other man with the stick, and you are a person who like and enjoy kissing men down their belly, we advise you to call us right now, 1-900-THE-WICKED-PROPHET. Learn how to do it correctly, so both of you, you enjoy it together. I am Andrew Tate, and I approve this message. What the heck? What is that? I mean, how wicked we can go. I mean, imagine why would it? the prophet rifting up his shirt and the guy, what, 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 what? And not only that, actually, there is a different hadith where the man he he rubbed his back with the chest of the prophet. Oh, mommy, oh, wickedness of blue, Muhammad in blue. Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, mommy, blue. Muhammad, this guy, he blew everything. How wicked he can go. And then the wicked Muhammad, he made verses about any believing women she want to offer herself to the prophet so he can if her look how nice this is charity i mean those women they they are horny at that time there is no sex toy sorry there's sex toys at that time do you remember the hadith you know guys once oh man we have a lot of memory i was uh we were reading a hadith about muhammad he put his penis with the, between her forelegs and the Muslim, they claim that the four legs is not legs. I mean, it says, Bayna al arba. Have you ever heard of a woman have four legs? It's a goat. So I was debating this guy. They call him Monkey Box at that time. And uh, he is, uh, you know, Nadir Ahmad? Nadir Ahmad. So, uh, and Nadir Ahmad, he says, Okay, my prophet have sex with the goat. Isn't your Bible says it smash the head of the baby? <laughs> so the Abdul, he have no problem. He's a prophet having sex with the goat, but he have a problem with the smash in the head of the baby. <laughs> and then guess what? We found that the smashing the head of the baby is in the Quran, isn't it? Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. If you are here first time, don't forget, and you subscribe already, don't forget to unsubscribe, please. I heard rumors that people who subscribe to my channel, they won the lotto. Let us see how many people will subscribe now. Actually, it's not a rumor to, sh to prove to you that this is a true story. I have witnesses, Prophet Muhammad and Zibril. What the heck? Prophet Muhammad and Zibril, they are the witness. What do you want more? So listen carefully, if you subscribe to my channel, you are going to win the lotto. And not only that, your mother-in-law, she will start liking you and she will never bother you. I can bring you tons of my friends who subscribe to my channel. After they subscribe to me, their mother-in-law, they like them to the point now, they sleep in the middle between him and the wife. I mean, do you see how much they like you now? She is sleeping in the middle between you and your wife. So subscribe to my channel if you like your mother-in-law to scrape to sleep between you and your wife. And Allah, Allah, praise be to the wicked Muhammad, he will fix it all. And don't forget to say, inshallah, so it's going to work. Okay? <laughs> what a crazy cult. 
Zero Muhammadan text me in Skype. Take a note. Not a single one of them there. Not a single one. Not a single one will call me and say, you are a liar. I challenge you. Show me the reference. They don't dare. Hmm? Any Mohammedan? You know, the Mohammedan, they try to fabricate all kind of a story about how amazing Muhammad. So one of the stories they fabricate, that George Bernard Shaw, uh-huh, he said, uh-huh, in one of his books, uh-huh, that if a prophet Muhammad was alive, uh-huh, he can fix all the problems in the world while he is drinking his coffee in the morning. When in fact, George Bernacho, he said the opposite about Islam. <laughs> and we cannot find where he said that, which book. And now the Mohammedan, they say, oh, the Kuffar, they hide that book. Oh, we did. Uh -huh. And you know, Muhammad can solve any problem in the world. To the point when he have a fight with his wife Aisha, she is four foot tall, a teenager. Now she is a, growing, she's a teenager, she is not six no more. And Hafsa, he needed the support of the following so he can fight his two short wives. Who? Allah. Is Allah is enough? No. Look, look. If you two wives of a prophet, wickedness upon him, namely Aisha and Hafsa, turn into repentance to Allah. It will be better for you, okay? So the Muslim, they add between two brackets to fix the stupid Quran, because the Quran without bracket is bracketless, which means meanless. So actually, even with a bracket, doesn't make any sense. I mean, the God of the religion, and the one who created the universe, he is making a verse about two women have fight with the prophet and there's, and he can solve all the problem in the world while drinking his coffee. So, if you don't repent to Allah and turn to him in your heart and decline opposing the prophet likes, but if you help one another against him, Muhammad, wickedness upon him, then verily Allah is his protector and master, etc. And Zabril, Allah is not enough. Muhammad cannot fight two women with two Allah. Are you kidding me? Women, I mean, my friend, when I tell you women are scary, and you don't, many of you don't believe me. You tell me women are beautiful, like, eh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look at what happened to Muhammad. This is the best man in the world, brother the best ever two women they made him go crazy he lost his mind now he imagined himself having sex but in fact he is not he is using his toothbrush <laughs> he imagined himself seeing an angel but he is not he's talking to the goat and now those women they have a strike against him and throw him potato and tomato at him and allah he sent a threat to control them so he said if you are going to go against the Prophet, Allah is protector. But that is not enough because protection of Allah is not enough. Those are women. Dangerous. And Zabril. Ooh, Zabril is getting down involved. He has 600 wings. And not only that, and every righteous Muslim among the believers, which means zero. And furthermore, the angels are his helper. All of this to fight two women. Namely, they are Aisa and Hafsa. I mean, who's left? And they say to you that the Prophet Muhammad, he was a very strong character. He can control anything. He can solve any problem. And the proof in front of you. So imagine I have a fight with my wife and now the God who created the universe, he said, if you don't stop attacking CP, 
I'm going to make you shish kebab. And not only that, I will bring Zabril with me and he will support me. And not only that, every righteous believer, like Ali Lili Dawa, the one is talking right now. I'm Ali Lili Dawa. And my wife, she, she's bring me the grape. Hey, grape, grape, please. Okay, and protect her and Zabril and every righteous believer and furthermore, all the angels. What the heck? I mean, nobody left in the sky. Everybody in the sky is coming in one truck. Allah and Zabril and every righteous and furthermore. And what is killing me is the furthermore. Look, look, this is one alone is like the most powerful weapon. And furthermore, like he did not stop. More, more, more soldiers are coming. Furthermore, the angels. All of the angels, they are coming to fight the oppression of two women against Muhammad. Yeah, have you ever heard the Adan? My friend, what about you hear the Adan from somebody, his voice is ugly and you will die laughing. So what the Muhammadan they do, they bring you someone, he have a nice voice. Have you ever heard the Adan? My friend, have you ever heard Michael Jackson? Stupid people. Bring people to have a nice voice. Whatever they sing, even if they say the word shit, it's going to sound nice. Have you ever heard the azan? And what is the azan? Allah Akbar? If Allah is Akbar, why he is asking for a lot of support to fight two women? As you see, Allah is Asghar. And Akbar means bigger. How Allah, nothing like him, and he compared himself by saying he is Akbar. What is a nice voice? That's a good question. What is a nice voice? What is a nice voice? I don't know. What is a nice voice? That's a good question. It's something make you sleep. It make you go to the deep. Nice voice. If you have a voice of Michael Jackson and you hold your balls and you say that then it's going to come very good. Because Michael Jackson, he never sing without holding his balls. All the garbage we saw the Abdul and he said to us, have you ever heard the Adhan? <laughs> What a stupid religion. <clears throat> Actually, according to, look, look how powerful the Adhan. It, the Adhan is so good to the point each time a Muslim he say the Adhan, Shaitan he fart. So is the sound we are talking about is mixed with farting without farting? What kind of a prophet he would say such a thing? Shaitan, when he hear the Adhan, he turn his back and break wind. <clears throat> break wind, break wind. The prayer of Muslims is the end. Is the end of peace for you. And I will make you a barbecue. And Muhammad is a shame. Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Break wind. Shaitan, he break wind. Who told Muhammad that? I mean, who in the world want to believe such a garbage? And why the shaitan, he, the shaitan, he want to break wind so he cannot hear the adhan. Are you telling me that a fart, a fart can prevent you from hearing the call for Allah? The fart wind. I knew it. And how Muhammad, he got this information? Where he get it from? Who is a Muslim can tell me where Muhammad he got this serious information from? Like did he receive a chapter? It's called the chapter of farting. Or maybe Muhammad is the person who is behind a philosophy. It's called fartism. Like how fartism can cause optimism. 
or maybe he is the one behind the theory and the fartism and satanism and he is the one who wrote the article what is the connection between fart and Allah because you say Allah he fart and that explains global warming How many Muslims they pray a day? Calculate the number with the fault of shaitan. You will find that the problem we have in the world of a climbing saints is shaitan farting because of Islam. So we need to destroy Islam so shaitan will stop farting. And thanks to Prophet Muhammad, he is the one who find the connection between fartism <laughs> and satanism. I mean, name for me one thing this guy he said is not hilarious or stupid or wicked. Can you? And there's a video in YouTube, the guy, the sheikh, he explained to you how shaitan, he play with your bows. Not only fart, when you go in the bathroom, if you don't say a prayer, shaitan, he go and he play with your bows. Man. Your bows is under the threat of shaitan. Mm, because you are a Muslim. See, Muhammad, you know, he put in the mind of Muslims conspiracy. A Muslim, he cannot sleep in his stomach. Why? Because shaitan will if him. What the heck? A man, <clears throat> he saw, he opened the door of his room and he found his wife touching herself and he claimed he saw fire in her pubic area what the sheikh he said to him brother auzu billah brother your wife brother wa auzu billah she is having sexual intercourse with the genie and this is why her pubic area catch in fire because remember genie is made from fire according to the quran <laughs> You know, isn't it obvious, you idiot, that your wife, she is horny and you are not doing your job? So now he blamed the genie. Oh, boy. <laughs> Her pubic area caught in fire. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Muhammad, the idiot who become a prophet. Look, 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 look. This is a Muslim YouTube. Part number two. I wish I can play it for you. How does the jinn have intercourse with women? Now I know who is the real father of Mimi Hijab. <laughs> what the heck? And this is number two? What happened in number one? <laughs> look, and you know, like, and look at the genie. This genie, he looked good, man. At least he would do his job. The husband is not doing anything. And they say to you that this is the religion of Allah when this is the most stupid cult ever. Stupidity is beyond imagination. The genie having sex with your wife, Abdul. And you are, so how you know that you are the father of the kids? Huh? Oh boy. <clears throat> and now every single Muslim, he will start feeling suspicious about his wife. She is sleeping with genie maybe. This is why she don't like what I do. 
She keeps saying you need to take some medicine because the genie is so strong. Actually, according to Muhammad, the shaitan, he have sex with the wife of Solomon, the wives of Solomon, all of them. And how the wives of Solomon, they notice that this is not Solomon. Anyone remember? How the, how the wives of Solomon, because shaitan, he took the look of Solomon after he stole the ring from the wife of Solomon. When Solomon, he went to the bathroom. True story. Proven, you know. How they find out? Anyone remember? Anyone remember? How they found out, the wives of Solomon, that this is not their husband, this is Shaitan. Nobody remember? Maybe there is a delay in my voice, taking time. <clears throat> okay, just to make the question more clear, especially for the Muslim, I have to make echo. Brothers and sisters, 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 who remember, remember, remember how the wives of Solomon, 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 they noticed that this is not Solomon, 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 this is not the husband, 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 husband. Anyone remember, remember, remember? No, they noticed that the genie, the shaitan is so good in boom, boom. Not like Solomon. So they reported him to the elders. They come to the elder. They say, this can't be our husband. What happened? This guy, his, he have a gun. He don't have a penis. I mean, this guy, he start shooting and stop like, next. Next. So they went to the elder. They said, we can't take it no more. What happened to our husband? This is no way. He's a, he's a human. And this is how they discover. And Shaitan then, when he heard this, he decided to run away. And he threw the ring in the ocean. And then one fish, she swallowed the ring. And then Solomon, he was walking as a potter in the port. And he asked a man to carry the fish for him. And in return, the man, he will give him a fish. So the guy, he said, okay. So when he went with him to the home, he carried the fish. He took the fish from him as a wages. He went home. He opened the fish. He found his ring. And with this, I wish you a Merry Christmas. It was a very nice night to spend with you, and I hope you enjoy the fairy tale stories we told you, which is proven to be true. Mentioned by Prophet of Allah, the most honorable wicked man in the world. Who can prove me wrong? If you wonder how you can find my videos, always you can go to patreon.com slash Christian Prince. You do not need to make a donation. Don't worry. It's all for free. Just go there, click at the last post I made, and you will know where I will be live. Because as you know, I have more than one channel. And I like to practice the monkey practice of Muhammad. Jumping from religion to religion. Once I pray toward Jerusalem, and once I pray toward the Kaaba, depend on the mood. Actually, I heard that his real name is Modi, which now he is the Prime Minister of India. Modi Prophet. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And today, we come with the real good names from Muhammad. Wickedness upon him. Remember it. Leave your comment. And don't forget to unsubscribe because if you subscribe, you will lose, you will win the lotto. And I don't want you to win the lotto because I want to win it only, even though I never bought it. Thank you very much. God bless you and see you soon again. Take care.